Hey everybody, it's Heather again. I just had something quick that I wanted to share. Um, a lot of times people have um, a hard time with coming up with something that is uh, good, simple, quick snacks for kids. So I just wanted to share, this is kind of an idea, the food parts isn't the idea that somebody gave me, but somebody gave me an idea for the muffin tin. My little guy would like to be seen. Tell everybody hi. Hi. Okay. And anyway, um, the muffin tin is a great idea because you can, my little boy is three. And he, um, you know, he's, toddlers are into that touching stuff with their fingers and, um, he always wants me to put everything in a separate bowl and like a lot of times if I fit it, fix him a snack he's getting where he's eating more but like he he wants like three or four different bowls so this works out really good he seems to love this and that you can fill it with all kinds of different things um, this is dried mango pieces that we got from our local uh, grocery store that's in the bulk where you can get it by the scoop um, this is uh, dried cranberries um, dried prunes People think that's old food, but they're really just plums dried up, and my son and I love them. Cheerios, um, that's the breakfast of champions, bananas, and raw peanuts. Um, so anyway, so that's, there you go. Thank you. And um, so that's what he, he we do for him, and that seems to work. But I wanted to share uh, just a couple of things. Um, this is how we roll in my house. A lot of times I don't have, I have some bags, but most of it is um, in glass. I can explain that to you later. Um, the reason why glass versus plastic. The ones that I have that are plastic, you can't see it on here, but um, it's called a PET. Um, I think it says PET. That's the highest quality. Um, of plastic. Anyways, I wanted to show what I have in them. Um, we just kind of go through the bulk and I get, here's peanuts, we've got blanched almonds, this was cranberries, um, raisins, we eat a lot of raisins in my house, um, raw honey. These are little date pieces. I think they have sugar on them. I say stay away from anything. Any of the mixes that are pre-mixed, um, here are currants. They're kind of like raisins. These are organic. These are, um, those are super good too. Uh, pecan pieces, dried, um, apricots. We have dried plums, or which I guess are, would translate into prunes. Banana chips. Um, this is actually chapstick wax. This is honey, a uh, beeswax that I've already melted down. Um, this one back here is beeswax before I've cleaned it. Um, sometimes it has little little particles from the honeybees in there. Um, these are dates, medhole dates that I'm always using. Um, these are dried figs. Uh, I'll be getting some more of these and showing you how to make um, homemade fig newtons. These are my favorite. These are carrot chips. Um, I'm trying to get those out of my diet because they're really not all that great. Carob powder is good for you. Carob chips. I don't really know what too much is in them. But I'm in denial right now because um, I still have a chocolate fix. Which spirulina is um, fixing. Spirulina I've recently started using. And it seems to uh, take away my craving for stuff like that for sugary stuff unless it's good sugars so I've been chowing down on some apple chips which I appear to be out of um, that I made in my dehydrator recently um, these this is a uh, raw oats also from our uh, grocery store bulk here are raw almonds I make almond milk with those um, these are this is buckwheat uh, wheat berries we cook with those a lot and then we've got beans Pintos. I just ran out of glass stuff because I use some of my others, my other mason jars for juice. So this is also how we roll in this house. I opened up a watermelon and um, poured off three, three of these big 32 ounce jars, monsters. And um, this is what our fridge usually looks like. It's usually just full of all kinds of fruits and veggie good goodies. Um, 
some of it's junk, but most of it's not. Uh, anyway, so um, I thought those could be good ideas. I've had friends ask me, what are some good snacks for my kids? Um, and then they take them through, and I, I told them, you know, they're, they're local, and, you know, uh, you, you can't take them through and let them get all the junk that they want. If he, we've, we've been lucky. With him, we started early trying to feed him right and give him, uh, he eats more raw than we do. He eats better than me and my husband do. And that's just because of years and years and years of our bad eating. We still have habits that, you know, that, that have been kind of been work, getting worked out of our system. Um, we've, you know, we stopped eating a lot of different things. And, you know, it doesn't make you righteous uh, or not righteous, depending on what you eat or don't eat. But it helps you feel better. So uh, if you want to feel good and you want to have good health and um, you don't want to die of a lot of these, you're going to die of something. But um, if you're not, I've heard people say, well, if I die, they're going to know it's the cigarettes that killed me. And those people normally do die because of the cigarettes, but the truth is, do you really want, I mean, when you get older and you've got kids and you've got grandkids and you've got a job and you can't go to your job because you don't feel good because you're sick, I mean, you want to feel better and you want to have the most optimal health and you want to have, um, you know, the best quality of life so that when you have your kids and your grandkids, you can actually play with them. You can actually watch them grow up and live a long, healthy life. Um, anyway, so, uh, not trying to food preach at you, but, um, sometimes I think that stuff needs to be said. So anyway, um, so there's, there's our, uh, our goodies that we share with our little guy. And try, ladies, uh, or single dads, whatever, try the muffin tins. I swear to you, if they're a toddler, it will work as long as they're not, you know, toddler, toddler, throwing it everywhere. But like his age, two, three, four, that works super good for them. Um, so anyways, until next time, uh, have a good day.